and welcome to Wider Brain Games. I'm your host, Jesus Rogers. Today we'll be playing Family Feud. Before we start, we will be using slightly different rules. Points will be awarded based on the number of correct answers revealed and not the total number of people answered. There will be five rounds and the team with the higher total amount of points at the end wins. For the full description of the rules, you can take a look at the screen below. Now let's meet our teams. First, give it up for the Corbo family. Woo! I'm Alex, I'm a senior. I'm Chris, I'm also a senior. I'm Monique, I'm also a senior. I'm Anna, I'm a sophomore. I'm Kyra, I'm a sophomore. All right, the Corbo family. <laughs> Next to my left, we have the Kincaid family. Uh, I'm John, I'm a sophomore. I'm James, I'm also a sophomore. I'm Malcolm, I'm a sophomore. I'm Guillermo, I'm a sophomore. <laughs> I'm Luke, I'm also a sophomore. A lot of sophomores. Give it up for the Kincaid family. <laughs> All right, it's time to play the feud. Let's go. We surveyed 100 students on campus. You guys should shake hands, actually. Wish you guys were Top six answers on the board. Name a Philadelphia mascot. I think it's right here. Fanatic. Fanatic. Let me see Fanatic. <laughs> Number two. Yeah. You've got Thanks, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What do we have? Gritty. Gritty. Do we have Gritty? <laughs> Number one answer. Would you like to play or pass? We're going to play. All right. All right, next up. Name a Philadelphia sports mascot. What do you with Franklin. Franklin the mascot. Do we have Franklin? <laughs> Number four. Good answer. Good answer. All right, how about you? Philadelphia mascot. Swoop from the Eagles. Do we? <laughs> Swoop. Number three. Nice. All right, how about you? What do you have? Only two answers left on the board. Uh, show me Fang. Fang. Do we have Fang? <laughs> Yes! One answer left. You guys keep thinking. You, got, you might get a chance to steal. What do you have there, big guy? Hip Hop the Bunny Rabbit. Hip Hop the Bunny Rabbit. Show me Hip Hop the Bunny Rabbit. <laughs> First strike. Two more strikes. What do you have? Uh, Winston. Winston. We have Winston. <laughs> Second strike. Get ready, Corbo family. It's down to you. Hmm. Three seconds. <laughs> Show me, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Corbo family, what do you have? There's only one answer left. Toby. They're going with Toby. Show me Toby. To the KK family. Good round, good round, guys. Let's go ahead and do round two. Send your next contestants up, please. It was wild, it was wild, Will D. Cat, or the wild cat. All right, here's our second question. Here we go. You got this. You got this. All right, here's our question. Name a beverage some people drink with breakfast. Right here. Orange juice. Orange juice, show me orange juice. Number two answer. Got a chance. Yeah. Coffee. Show me coffee. Yeah. 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 Number one answer. It's like a player pass. Go play. All right, Corbo family. Name a, a beverage some people drink with breakfast. Water. Water. Good answer. Water. Show me water. Here we go. Yeah. Number five. And you? Tea. Tea. Hot or cold? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Show me tea. Ooh, first strike. No worries, no worries. First strike. Still got a couple more chances. You got this. Name a beverage some people drink with breakfast. I'm going with apple juice. Apple juice. Good answer, good answer. Let's see apple juice. Ooh, surprisingly, second strike. Here we go. All right, how about you? Milk. Milk. Yeah, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Number three. Two more answers left on the board. You're down to one more strike. What do you have? Uh, Name a beverage, a beverage some people drink with breakfast. Um, grape juice. Grape juice. Show me grape juice. Third strike. That's okay. That's Sorry okay. about that. Good answer. Good answer. All right, Kincaid family. What do you have? Uh, we're say cranberry juice. Cranberry juice. Do we have cranberry juice on the board? <laughs> so the points go to the Corbo family. Let's see what the other answers were. Number four was grapefruit juice. Oh, 
Champagne. Very interesting. Who's here over 21? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, send up your next contestant, your next family members. All right, our third question. We surveyed 100 students across campus. Name a baseball team that has won the most World Series. Yankees. Show me New York Yankees. That's number one. Would you like to play? Oh, you'll play. Uh, thought so. All right, it's on you. Uh, show me the Mets. Let me see New York Mets. First strike. All right. <laughs> be kind. What do you have? Boston Red Sox. Boston Red Sox. They've won a lot recently. Let's see the Boston Red Sox. Number four on the board. Uh, I'm going to go with the Astros. Houston Astros. Let's see the Houston Astros. That is a second strike. I'm going to go with the Dodgers. The LA Dodgers. Let's see Los Angeles Dodgers. Number six on the board. Go the San Francisco Giants. San Francisco Giants. Let's see the San Francisco Giants. Number five on our board. Very, very good. All right, we're down to one more strike, remember. Name a baseball team that has won the most World Series. The Philadelphia Phillies. Philadelphia Phillies. Show me the Philadelphia Phillies. Third strike. All right. Corbo family, it's your chance to steal. Two answers left on the board. Name a baseball team that has won the most World Series. White Sox. The Chicago White Sox. Show me the Chicago White Sox. All right, so the points go to the Kincaid family. Let's see the two remaining answers that we did not get to. St. Louis Cardinals and the Oakland Athletics, the A's. Good round. All right, it's time now for round number four. All right, here we go. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Shake oh, hands. Okay. <laughs> Be friendly. All right, our fourth question here in the school family feud. Name a place where you might not get cell phone reception. We're going over here. We out of the country. Out of the country. Show me out of the country. Ooh, strike. I would like to say the country. The country. Show me the country. I, yes, we'll go. You have you go again. The basement. The basement. Show me the basement. The basement. Number two. We play the player pass. We're gonna play it. All right. Think of it. Think of a steal. All right. We're going with name a place where you might not get cell phone reception. I'm gonna say at a concert. At a concert. Oh, good answer. Good answer. Let me see a concert. <laughs> it's your first strike. What do you have? Name a place where you might not get cell phone reception. The forest. The forest. Good Show answer. me the forest. <laughs> Roll it as Bob. Yeah. We'll take it. Yes. Answer. Number one answer on the board. All right, we surveyed 100 students. Name a place where you might not get cell phone reception. Uh, the bathroom. The bathroom. Show me the bathroom. <laughs> the second strike. Down to your last strike. Kincaid family, think of a steal. Um, I'm going to have to go with the attic. The attic. Oh, good answer. Show me the attic. <laughs> Third strike. That's okay, that's okay. Kincaid family, your chance to steal. Do you have an answer? Yes, we're going to say in a tunnel. In a tunnel. Yeah, in a tunnel. Good answer. Show me in a tunnel. <laughs> oh, there it is. You stole the points. Good job. Yeah. Let's see what number four was. Boat. A boat or the ocean. <laughs> number five? Work, Work or office All building. building. Me. Number six, oh, court. Oh, Surprise the airplane was on there. Yeah. Surprise the airplane was on there. All right. Let's go down to round number five. All right. We surveyed 100 students. Top six answers on the board. Name someone you would call after getting engaged. My mother. Your mother. Show me your mother. <laughs> Parents, let me answer, let me answer. We're gonna play, all right. Good answer. All right, Kincaid family. Name someone you would call after getting engaged. My sister. Your sister. Show me sister. Or sibling, yes, number three answer. 
Four answers still left on the board. I'm gonna go with grandparents. Grandparents, gotta call the grandparents. Show me grandparents. <laughs> Number four on the board. Looking for a clean sweep here. Uh, close friends. Close friends. <laughs> Best friend, yes, we'll take it. Number two answer on the board. Two more answers left, no strikes. What do you have? Name someone you would call after getting engaged. Your ex. Your ex. You love the drama, don't, <laughs> don't you? Right here, huh? living. <laughs> Live here. Oh, strike one. Your ex. Wow. <laughs> it's like a TV movie there with you. All right, big man. Name someone you would call after getting engaged. Aunts and uncles. Aunts and uncles. Let me see aunts and uncles. Yes, number five. One answer left on the board, dealing with one strike right now. Name someone you would call after getting engaged. Guess your boss. Your boss. You might need to get some time off. That's yeah. right. Show <laughs> me your boss. All right. That's, Good answer. Good answer. Is that, that's uh, two strikes there. Final strike. Name someone you would call after getting engaged. Your in-laws. Your in-laws. Yeah. Future in-laws? Future in-laws. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Future in-laws. Unless you're already me. Yeah, strike. All right. Yeah. One answer left on the board. What do you have, Corbo family? Cousins. Cousins. Yes. Be tight with your cousins. Show me your cousins. Yeah. Yeah. Goes to the Kincaid family. All right. Wait, what's the, what's the final answer? The final answer is... You're oh, lawyer. Lawyer. In case you need to get a prenuptial agreement, get things sorted out. Are you nervous? You, know, you may not know somebody really well. So now we have the tiebreaker question. Let's just say we're tied. What is this, what is the score right now? Sixteen to four. Tiebreaker is worth thirteen points. Thirteen point tiebreaker. Send your best. Send your best up here. Only one answer for this. Name the Philadelphia sports franchise. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. The Eagles. Show me the Eagles. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the question was, name the Philadelphia sports franchise with the most championships. <laughs> the Eagles. Good job. Yeah. A couple. <laughs> I guess they're going with like the NFL. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. All right. Let's give it up for the Kincaid family. Twenty-five to four with that thirteen-point tiebreaker. <laughs> that will conclude today's game. Congratulations to the Kincaid family on winning School Feud. Once again, thanks for watching today's episode of Widener Brain Games. I'm Deuces Rogers. We hope to see you right back here next time.